Alyssa, I'm very, very sorry. Um, I let you down. Okay, Alyssa. All right now, ma'am. All right now, here we go. We in here. What y'all doing? What's up? What's good? Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Warda Zach here, and I'm back for another video. Me and a zit right here on my lip that's really, really disturbing me and almost, like, disturbing my inner peace. I think that this is Mercury, Mercury and Retrograde saying bye to me and saying we have fun with you. We'll see you next time. And, yeah, they wanted to remind me. Mercury and Retrograde, I mean. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And this little zit right here. I got this little horn growing right here. I look, the devil shall not prosper today. He won't prosper. No, I got my little bundles, my little inches right here. You know, do rag season. Hello. I'm just kind of lay my hair down because I want like that little look because my hair look be looking, my head like a cone sometimes. So just, you know, we're going with it. So in case you guys are new here and you aren't really aware of who I am, nice to meet you guys. I am Zach, aka World of Zach. And I'm super excited to be here with you guys, talking to you guys and bringing you some new product reviews. I've been gone for a minute, but now I'm back. <laughs> I don't know what dance or song to go to that, but I'm back and I'm happy. Super excited, especially to be reviewing a product that I am reviewing today. But before I get into that, before I do, I want to make sure that you subscribe. <sighs> Not really sure why I did that rendition of the song subscribe, but you know, you liked it and you enjoyed it and hopefully you subscribed and clicked the notification bell. You know, we're, we're all about just everything, embracing texture and all that. You know, this is where a safe place for everybody to come to. Hopefully you just enjoy it, relax a little bit, sip some tea, some coffee, some wine if you of age. If you're of age, don't be over here getting me in trouble and stuff. I'm talking about you drinking and stuff and I know you 18 and below. I mean, 21 and, tw 20 and below, 20 and below. You know, if you can drink, you can't drink, okay? All right. But anywho, so I'm just super excited to be back with you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy the rest of this video. And I can't wait to have y'all a part of this and see what we got going on. Because I'm ready to see too, sis, because I've been using the same foundation for a while now. Am I born this way? Y'all can't tell, but she a little empty right now. She feeling a little light because I've been using her a lot. So Auntie Jackie, you know, we, we love her in Too Faced. But now it's time to dive into the Alyssa Ashley and NYX Cosmetics collab, which is what we're talking about today. The Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation, the Full Coverage Foundation by NYX Professional Makeup and Alyssa Ashley, who I love so, so much. I know Joke have been following Alyssa Ashley since her days of like doing like the, when she was trying to be in the NYX Face Awards, if I'm correct. She did like the bumblebee look and everything like that, the honeycomb type of thing. Like, it's so crazy how full circle. I think it's been about two years since then. And now she has a collaboration with them where she um, worked with them to help extend their shade range for their newest foundation. Which, like, it's just so dope. And, like, meeting her in person, her and Arnell, like, they're both so cute and so, so sweet. And, like, I just love, like, how they're edgy but cool, personable. And just, like, a whole vibe. So, I'm all about supporting that, you know, the melanin. Just everything popping. Like, I really live for it. The way Alyssa cares about her work, her work, that, her work ethic, her camera quality. I say this as I film this on not the best, but you know what I'm talking about though. It's, it's in, my, in my heart, y'all y'all know where I'm coming from and my, my intentions. I'm just not there yet. I gotta get my funds up, my coin up. But when I get there, can't stop, won't stop. You know, full coverage, hello. Don't know what that really means, but y'all know. So yeah, anywho, this foundation retails for $15. It's said to be a full coverage foundation and NYX Cosmetics and Sales. Let me go see on, on the little website, on NYX Cosmetics website. They, they really said that this is an inclusive foundation, 45 uh, shade ranges and whatnot. Um, if you wear this stuff, you hashtag Nix Cosmetics for your chance to be featured on Instagram, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Um, it's a lightweight, waterproof, and pigmented AF. Okay, pigmented AF in a bio. I, I'm, I'm a drugstore, y'all can look all of that here, ain't it? Can't stop, won't stop, full coverage foundation, hustles as hard as you do that. Does it though? I hope so. I'm a hustler, okay? This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. All right now. Every creamy shade lies on smooth delivery matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. I'm not sure who in their life, you know, what is going on in their personal life to where they feel the need to wear foundation for 24 hours. Just sounds like a lot to me like a really big commitment like what do you really have going on sis to where you need it on for 24 hours what type of predicament did you get yourself into where you got to have your foundation looking flawless for 24 hours if somebody can comment down below what type of situation can have you in a situation for 24 hours where you need your foundation to stay on that long i'm gonna buy you one of these and send it to you 
Yeah, I will. I promise I will. If you can really give me a good, legitimate situation, and I'm like, you know what? I didn't think of that. And I would think of a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm She's creative, okay? But if you can do that, then like comment down below something, like something, a reason why to wear a foundation for 24 hours. Anywho, um, our little overachiever also works for, okay. I love how they're hyping this foundation up in the bio, like our little overachiever. That's cute. Also works to control, shine, and mattify your complexion all day long, but it doesn't stop there. This foundation is non com 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 comedo comedic. This foundation is non comedic. I think I need a drink to finish to say this word. Huh? So I just need to hydrate a little bit, have some, um, some wine real quick. I forgot to say this word. I don't know. Non comedogenic, I think. Boom, there we go. Suited for nor normal, oily combination and sensitive skin types. So pretty much this can work on all skin types, but it's a matte foundation. T. So I'm honestly a little bit nervous to wear this. And I, plus I have like, I've been having like a little bit of irritation on my skin, like right here. I've had like a really bad dry patch that comes off somewhat overly shiny and such. Um, so it just went like a little bit weird right here in this region for me. So we'll see how this foundation does. I am a little bit nervous. So let me go ahead and say a prayer. Lord. I'm gonna say it personally. Y'all just pray with me, okay? Lord. Yeah. Amen. I'm not playing. Don't don't disrespect. I ain't no this, okay? Oh, and real quick though, please give me the power to take some cute pictures like Alyssa as she does. I'm gonna be really posing and stuff like that. Like I might dye my hair platinum blonde real quick for y'all, and y'all don't even know it. It might be platinum blonde under here, and y'all don't even know it. Y'all don't even know it might be. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> So just to make sure, so just so I can try to give this foundation a fair go around, I'm gonna do things and that I think will be the best way to prep my skin and prep the foundation for it to perform the best that it can. Because like I said before, you set yourself up for success, set yourself up for success, and then you will what? Comment down below because I know y'all know. I'm gonna tell you, you will succeed. Set yourself up for your success and you will succeed. That's a tongue twister. Set yourself up for success and you will succeed. Try to set yourself up to try to say that right first and then try to set yourself up for success. And then I'm over here trying to set, 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 set trip and stuff like that. I'm just going with the the NYX Angel Veil Primer, which I remember seeing Jackie Anna talk about this a while back, saying that this was a dupe for the Hourglass um, Veil Primer. And that's no joke, one of my favorite primers ever. It's so, so good. Ooh, she just squirted out a little bit. <laughs> Got a little carried away. Oh, and that's a lot of primer. Oh, God. God, that was a lot of primer. I hope I blended her out good enough and it don't hurt me. A little too, a little too much primer ain't never hurt nobody, right? Mm. So now that I've went ahead, ooh, get back. So now that I went ahead and primed my face with the Angel Veil Primer, which just has my skin looking fall, like really smooth. It just, it applies on really nicely. It has like a little, not tacky, but somewhat tacky texture to it. So that way I know the foundation will stick to it. And it also just kind of made everything feel very, very smooth. And using the Veil Primer from Iroglass, my skin just looks so flawless in Photoshop and HD, like ready. So I think that that primer will do the same thing. Hopefully it's not like too matte, too hydrating. It's just like a really good skin, base primer if that makes sense now that i've done that i'm gonna go ahead with my la girl pro concealer and you know color correct real quick to get everything canceled out you know how this little five o'clock shout out you know <laughs> just try to hide a little bit you ain't gonna go all the way away you know what i'm saying like i ain't, I ain't gonna be working magic out here but you know <laughs> we do what we can we do what we can you know what i'm saying all right so now i'm just gonna go ahead and dive into the foundation and i got the shade coco CSW SF21. I noticed that when they had on the display, if you go in stores, they had like these color dot things like in each section for wherever the colors were. And um, on there it had like, was it neutral, red, golden, like whatnot, whatever, like the type of undertones it was, like was it warm and everything. So I grabbed this, I was in a rush, y'all. I told like, I told Alyssa, I was like, I gotta, I had to go to the bathroom. I was in a rush, it was, it was one of those moments right there. And had time, the line was getting a little bit longer from what I could see in the distance. I was like, I'm just have to grab and go and trust my oats and everything. Usually other foundations like uh, the drugstore foundations, like I think the Maybelline one and L'Oreal, like I'm usually shade 360 Cocoa and Mocha somewhere in there. And, and the Too Faced Jackie Aina Born This Way Foundation, I'm in the shade Tiramisu. I'll try to post those on here so you can see like what my shade ranges are and like other foundations so you can see. Um, but this is in the shade Cocoa and on the website, she's a 
deep, deep with a neutral undertone. Not neutral. Warm. Sometimes red, sometimes golden. Not. Alyssa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance because, um, because I told you that I was going to make it work, but I don't. Let me stop talking so negative. Let me just go ahead and try. I'm going to try a neutral. Why would I grab a neutral? Ugh, why would I grab a neutral? Ugh. I've... Lord. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and pump this into my foundation brush. I'm just going to go ahead and pump this into my foundation brush. And oh, I did like a pump and a half. I need to go for another one. All right, so I got about two pumps on here. I'm gonna see what she gonna do. All right, now. Okay. Okay. All right, now. Ooh, piece of hair, hold on. Get out of here. What you doing? All right, now. I hope y'all can see this. Okay, Alyssa. All right now, ma'am. Wait a minute. Hold on now. Wait a minute, Alyssa, Ashley, and Nick's Cosmetics. What are y'all doing out here? What you, oh, shit. Oh, my God, my eye. Okay, guys, so I'm back now a little bit better. You know, I almost put my eye out, but we're good. We're okay. And this is the foundation, like, right after application. It's been maybe, like, about a minute or two since I've had this foundation on. And so far, so good. Like, this foundation looks incredible. Like, incredible. This looks really, really good. I'm very, very impressed and very excited about this. Like, the shade Coco actually looks really good on me. And this light right here. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing something different, but so far... For being neutral, it doesn't look great on me immediately. It's not pulling too cool. It looks pretty good so far. Um, my dry patch that I have is doing okay so far right now. If I'm not looking at you guys, I'm looking in the mirror just to get like a, up close, a more up close detailed look. But so far, everything looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, I can see like a little bit of separation like right here, but that's like that really weird dry patch that I'm having issues with. It's not doing as bad, but as the more setting, the more I can see like it's acting a little bit funny right there, but I don't think that's the foundation's fault. It's just I have a weird skin thing going on right now. So aside from that, everything else looks pretty, pretty good. The coverage on it is the coverage on it is amazing. Um what? Oh bitch. She's actually transfer free. Oh, you can lay on your man and he be good. Okay. So this is the foundation that you lay your man with and he can he not gonna be mad at you. You can go hug people with this one. Don't try to hug strangers and stuff like that because you don't want to leave your face in them and they be ready to fight you. Just, just don't try it, sis. But other than that, the foundation does look pretty, pretty good. I am excited about this to see what more I can do with this. So most of you probably know by now that I don't really wear concealer anymore. So I'm just gonna take my Maybelline um, setting powder in the shade Deep and go under my eyes. And because I use this to brighten up um, the places where I normally would conceal. Hope that it doesn't make my under eyes super califragile. It's about a dociously dry, you know? She works me a little bit. She gives me a break or two. We'll see. So wiping this powder away. I don't really like leave the powder on there too long, depending on the foundation and whatnot. So since it's the matte foundation, I literally put it on there and I'm brushing it right off. And things don't look too crazy. Like I'm not having crazy creasing or anything. I think you guys can see like the brightness under my eyes. Hopefully, I mean the powder, if it clings to this area, then it just does at this point, you know. She's already clocked out on me. Like, this little part of my eye that already clocked out on me. She's not participating today in this video, so we're not including her. We're skipping her. So we're, we're going to count everything else. So, you guys, really quick, I'm just going to go off camera and finish up the rest of my face and let you guys know my final, final thoughts, and I'll be ready. Okay, so I just had to bring y'all out here. It's a little windy or whatever. Where's the lighting at? Not there. Ooh, there? There? Find your lighting, honey. We're on a quest for lighting. I'm out here barefoot because I need to hurry up and try to catch the last little bit of this light. Okay, this will work. So I just want to bring you guys outside so you can see the foundation. Okay. 
Okay, so this will work. I just want to bring you guys outside so you can see this foundation in full effect outside and natural lighting. It looks pretty good. Don't mind the dry patch. Like I said, she's canceled. Like we're not, we're not gonna go there. But the foundation looks pretty good. I've had it on for about an hour now or so. I think that it's beautiful. It's incredible. Like it looks really, really good. And for it being a matte foundation, my skin doesn't feel dry, doesn't feel heavy. It still kind of looks like my skin. Um, I would just say go in from a more hydrating primer. Next time I probably will use a more, even more hydrating primer. Um, but I didn't like use too much powders on my face this time as much as I usually do, just because I know it's a matte foundation. But it's definitely, I think any skin type can wear this foundation. It does look really good. And I do think, I do agree that I think any skin type can wear this foundation. It does look really, really good. I am enjoying the way that this looks right now. It's windy as hell out here. Oh my God. For real, this is a mess. Maybe that's better. Okay, come on, Melanin. Okay, come on. Okay, come through tones. <laughs> but yeah, I do think that the foundation looks incredible. I think that, like I said, it works for, it will work for every skin type, every skin tone or whatever. It looks really, really good. This match is actually really good for me, I, even though it's a um, neutral undertone and I'm not really neutral-ish. I don't really know. Maybe I am, bitch. I don't even know. Now I know. Thank you, Alyssa Ashley, for partnering up with NYX Cosmetics to extend their shame range for the newest foundation, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. I think that is beautiful. I'm loving it. I feel so good. Like, I can't stop, won't stop. Uh, can't stop, won't stop. Uh, I don't know what that was, but yeah. Over, all in all, I didn't really enjoy this. Okay, I'm trying not to yell. Okay, I'm trying not to go because I don't want my neighbors to hear me and they come outside and I'll be real awkward, real embarrassed real quick. But I really did enjoy this foundation and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you want more like this, then please let me know. Alyssa Ashley, I love you so much. And this cosmetics, I love you guys so much as well. Don't forget to check out my other uploads, you guys. They over here on this name. You know, just check me out. Just show love, show love, show love to a real one, okay? Just, just show me some love and all that. I love y'all a lot. Mm -hmm. I really, I really do. Hold on. I really, I really love y'all a lot and everything like that. So yeah, <laughs> I see you guys in this upload. I love you guys so much. Bye guys.